Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Ready for the class. I... That's great. What was that? <laughs> Sorry. I was kind of <laughs> in my bed. <laughs> so. Yes, so. Yep. But oh, great, nice. teacher. It's been a great day today. Mm. Oh, really? Great day, but you know, a normal and regular day at the office. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Maybe so, the I... the only difference that is that I okay the correct form teacher to say just to be is I have been or I, I have oh, I been was. working or I was working. I was working. I was working. Okay. I was working in details for a, the presentation that I have tomorrow. It's about, uh, well, uh, the company has a program inside the company that is called uh -huh. Assume. So we, we talk about topics, I don't know how to say it, topics, but not related to work. It's topics like family, you know, responsibility, hobbies and topics like that so tomorrow is my presentation and i'm really? going to what are you going to talk about yeah i'm going to talk about the sense of responsibility mm -hmm. that's cool and yeah you will prepare for it yeah actually i i'm going to present with another a um, co-worker already yeah so we we were working together in in the presentation and it's done we are ready so yeah i have to to well the presentation starts at 8 a.m so i have to go early to the office tomorrow what time is it early for you? Seven and a half to prepare everything because we have the presentation and some videos. So um, the platform that we use to this kind of, of, of activities at the office is Teams, Microsoft Teams. So we we want to to, to prepare everything before the presentation and try the transitions about to share the screen and then the videos and all the stuff, all the details like that. And yeah, maybe seven and a half is a, it's a good hour to prepare. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So you're going to be quite busy tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited. Actually, I, I like this program a lot. I don't know. Personally, I think that helps me. I, I, I take uh, this opportunity to, 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 I don't know how to say it, como para aprovechar o como para, to sí, take como advantage, to take advantage uh, of these topics that, that in, in some way affects some areas of my life, you know, this, it's the, that's the idea. Think about that topics and our personal life, uh, and not not just the work. So, yeah. But we um, besides that, a normal day, same routine in the afternoon, paperwork, checking some emails, and well, I finished uh, the all the this this stuff about my my bus trip. So everything is. Is ready. When is when is your bus leaving? Um, June. I don't remember. I think it's June. Well, but eight. what you know is that you're gonna have three days, right? Yeah. Mm, I hope. <laughs> I don't know yet, but I hope. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. I mean, it would be cool, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, because as, as you told me the other day, if your boss stays, you got to stay. 
-hmm. Which is kind of heavy. Yeah. And what about you, teacher? How was your day today? My day. My day today. Uneventful. Why? Uneventful means like it was like let's see something special. Hmm. Yeah, I mean today was mostly routine. So, I mean, it's cool. Well, the good thing was that it was a cold day. Yeah, the weather was amazing today. Yeah, where I worked, there were two storms in the afternoon. So I enjoyed that. It was quite cold. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. And let me see, besides that, no much, to be honest, no much. Mm, yeah. Normal day. Yep. Yeah, regular one. Okay. Yes, same old story, working, let's see, working and... Working. What else? Yeah, working. <laughs> well, now I just, I just finished a, a meeting. And let's see, tomorrow's gonna be... What do I have to work? Oh man, tomorrow I have got a heavy day. Because tomorrow I got I got classes, I got uh, I gotta teach, I gotta receive a class, I'm planning on going to the gym, then I need to be here. So tomorrow's gonna be kind of heavy, which is good. Yeah, because you don't feel the time. Yeah. The pass of time, yeah. The pass of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's better for me. I mean, otherwise you get stressed. <laughs> okay, well, nice talking to you, Eliana. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Ada, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. It's a normal day, teacher. <laughs> Long days, also a lot of work. And for days uh, two, schedule surgeries and one of the complicate and the, the first question is laborious and at the beginning of, of the um, 7 a.m. Um, to 12 a.m. to a medio -día at and in the afternoon, continue the series and around the two hours. And then uh, go to the clinic of the two party. And um, I arrive at home. Uh, patients, patients. Patients, three teachers, sorry. And, Alright, my house is a uh, gang hours. It's, it's a normal day. It was day. a heavy day. It was a heavy one. Yes, it's, it's normally teacher. No, I no problem for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <acostumbrado. laughs> I am used to it. I just use it. Yes. Teacher. Let me text it for you. Um, I am used to it. There you go. Well, it's good I that you are people. used. Yeah, it's good that you are used to it because I mean, sometimes uh, having a heavy day when you are not used to it, it's it's complex because you get like too tired, and that's bad. Yes, yes. Very okay. Very well. Thank you, Ada, and welcome. Thank you, Nice having you here. You ready for your presentation? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. You will want me to present it for you? Yes. To, to, to. In the WhatsApp? Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it, don't worry. Okay. Got it, don't worry. Okay. 
I got it ready right now. Mm. Let's see if one is having problem. Okay. Oh, there's the one. She got me. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, so, Wilfredo, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Well, uh, so far so good. Today, has really calm me. Yeah, pretty good. But uh, I start to review some uh, information, uh, some topics of mathematics that I don't remember. But well, you know, I own the horse and I have to ride. Yeah, yeah. Know what you mean? Yeah, that's right. But I guess that I will understand. Now we have uh, the technology, so we have to take advantage of about that. Okay. So Wilfredo, okay, you told me I am in the horse and we have to ride it. Okay. You laid your bill, then you gotta sleep on it. Yeah. That's that's how we say it in English. You, I mean, we say, ah, you know, you lay your bed and the other people already understand, ah, and you gotta sleep on it, okay? Yep. That's the, uh, that, that phrase uh, give us the same idea similar. of, yeah, it's pretty similar to what you were expressing that it's commonly in Spanish, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right, yeah. uh, teacher. I want to know if uh, I don't know if you receive a confirmation from Concentrics. From what? About words reinscription process. I don't know if you have uh, a list uh, that the people that already share with you the, the reinscription process. Oh, the documentation. Yeah, well, you know, uh, if you do me the favor to remind me tomorrow, I can do it, uh, I can ask for it early in the morning. Okay, perfect. I will remind early you in the morning. tomorrow that, yeah. To find out right. if they have received your, your documents. Yeah, perfect, excellent. Because uh, believe it or not, we have a, how can I call that? We have a... I understand you, I understand you. Some companies it's Big complex. Problem. You gotta, you gotta push, yeah. really push yeah, for because, it. And also the, the man that shared the information to our company was on vacation. Well, he's on vacation. And don't delegate to anything, to, to anyone to send the information. So, oh, the, the one who sends your info is on vacation. Yeah. And I was looking for other uh, people to, to send the information. That's why I, I asked you about that. So you want to confirm it? They did it already. Okay, I will, I will ask for it. Don't worry. So that way it gives, it gives you a chance to, to keep on pushing if they haven't. Yeah, yeah. And uh, today I was talking with Giselle. Yeah. No, and Hazel. She, uh -huh, Hazel. And she did me the favor to send the prescription process again to my email. And okay. then I forward that information to the person that will send it. But I guess okay. that everything was okay. 
Let's hope so. Let's hope so. We will check it tomorrow. Don't worry. Thank you, Mr. And welcome. Thank you, teacher, to us. Words, uh, Ana Claudia. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well fighting to achieve my goal. <laughs> My revenue goal every day because I'm still missing. It's just missing one thousand and one hundred dollars. So um, that's maybe, one sale. No, no, no. Must be two or three. It depends because the, of the product, the customer. Maybe if in one sale I can, uh, it will be with three products. That will be good. But let's see. I yeah. always keep my faith high. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the way to do it. I mean, we gotta, we gotta wait for the best. Exactly, and we, every day we had two meetings. Uh, one uh, starting the day to check out what uh, we have pending as uh, task, pending task, and at the end of the day to look for all the all what we did during the day or what we want um, in task, in completed task. And we were like, uh, recall, recalling could be the, the best word to use. Remembering um, uh, situations in the past life, for example, there was uh, last, it, it, before pandemic when- You, can, you can use both in that situation. Recall mm -hmm. or or you can say it more elegant, bringing back to memory. Oh, we were bringing back to memory. <laughs> it sounds yeah, you good. see, that sounds better, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, we were bringing back to memory when one of our colleagues, she was the, the bottom performance and the month, it was the last day of the month. And exactly half an hour before we went out, one of her customers that she was fighting for a sale like six months ago, uh, called her di direct and he told that he was ready, he was prepared. And at the time he purchased 10, 10 devices. She was at the end of the performance of, of the, the team. It was so nice. We always remember there are a lot of situations like that that happened in the past. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, we keep fighting until the last minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well, Thanks for sharing, Anna Claudia. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Let's hope you make it. Yes, I'm hoping for that reason to make it. Yes. Yeah, there's still time. There's still time. Mm -hmm. Remember, yes. it doesn't end until it ends. It doesn't end until? It ends. Ah, okay. No termina hasta que se acaba. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, okay. That's right. Yes, that's right. That's right. Uh -huh. So we are still waiting. We will see. We will see. Exactly. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Marcos. Hello, Marcos. How are you? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm just fine. A little bit with a uh, little disease or age in my throat because yesterday I told you that the rain cut us in the motorcycle so oh yeah uh, yeah I have a little pain in my throat I think it's a uh, um infection I think it's the girl word throat infection that's bad it's hard yeah. and, and uncomfortable. Yeah, but I, I think in this time, at this point, it's not totally developed or on hold. Or, know. <laughs> and so yeah, but... I took appeal um, to, to... to see if you can improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took appeal to... to against this this pain so i hope i i will heal from that 
the um, the work and the job uh, it was a relaxed day. Yesterday was really busy to me, but this day uh, I talk with nobody this time. Nobody talk talk to you, talk to me this this day. I was doing my the my painting plans and just relax this day. And also I was enjoying the weather. I uh, yesterday I slept a lot, I think more than I usually sleep. I don't know why I was so tired yesterday. But um I um cease my tiredness and sleep a lot of time, a lot of hours. I ha I had a good recovery. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Well, press your throat because we are going to have more activities. Okay, welcome. Okay, thanks, teacher. Yeah, we got a lot on our plate tonight. But before we move on, let me get the attendance so I, we can get rid of it. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastu Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, let's see, let's see who else is around. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's your name? Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Fine, teacher. How was your day? Uh, well, I was kind of tired. So, but what, what we can do, right? So it's just yeah. like just follow the step and that's it. So I was complaining before, right? But I, I understand now so that there is nothing that I can do now. So it's just follow the procedures and that's it. But I hope that probably it will like change. Probably they will like invest in new people, new people, sorry. Not in that they can handle those calls that sort of actually we are suffering now because we don't have time and they are, they are requiring like to make overtime in order to handle those, those calls. But now so I can say that today was not normal day because I don't have uh, so much call. Yeah, but you got to work uh, an extra time tonight, right? Yeah. Uh, Actually, I woke up early because uh, they asked yesterday to make like two hours 
in the morning, but actually they decided to start that overtime on Friday because it will arrive a new product in order that we can like handle those calls because there are like, uh, they are thinking that, so we will get like uh, a lot of calls on that day, but I don't know. So I was thinking that, so you say no, <laughs> because today was a, a heavy day. I can imagine, I can imagine. Well, let's forget a little bit for that and remember yeah. you're in class or so relax. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to do that. Yep. Okay. Right. Thank you and welcome. Thank you for asking. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Mm -hmm. Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Teacher. How are you? How's everything? How was your day? Just fine, teacher. Uh, and this, this day, uh, it was good, teacher, uh, because uh, today is my is my day off, um, and tomorrow too. And oh, cool! Uh, right, teacher. And for the the, the moment, the the weather is very good because uh, in the in the afternoon uh, it's raining in, in, in here and so uh, the the weather is in, in for the moment is uh, is uh, a little cool oh that's nice right teacher uh, and and you can rest like peacefully right right <laughs> And uh, yesterday is uh, the the weather is was very very hot, it's terrible. And the, but uh, uh, now it's it's good. I, I think well. uh, when uh, I go to the bed, I can rest and uh, very well for the for the weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's nice. In, yeah. In, Tell me. In in the weather in in your in your con in your uh, PlayStation. Well, well, where I where I work today, it rained twice in the afternoon. Heavy rain. Beautiful. The first time it rained around 1.30, not around 1, like for 45 minutes, and then it rained again at 3, like for an hour, it was cool. When the, when the weather, uh, sorry, when uh, it raining uh, many times, uh, uh, the weather, uh, how do you say it's como que se pone bastante fresco? Or how do you say it, teacher? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Eh, cuando, eh, por ejemplo, cuando llueve así bastante veces, el clima se pone fresco, how do you say that in English? Mm. I don't know, when it rains a lot, when it rains constantly, and the weather gets cool. I get no, gets get cold. cold. Gets cold. Get cold. Get cold. Yeah. Ah, okay, for sure. Yeah, it was beautiful. I mean, I really enjoyed that. Right, for sure. Or uh, or take a, a nap. <laughs> for taking, taking, for, for taking, taking a nap. Ah, okay, for sure. Yeah, well, the ones who can take naps, it's cool. Uh, I remember in uh, your case, uh, you don't uh, have a, a nap. 
No, I, I cannot take you. naps. I cannot. I cannot. I mean, for me, taking naps is quite difficult, actually, to be honest. I mean, even if I lay down, I cannot, like, go to sleep. Okay, this is okay. Well, mister, thank you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. So let's see. Uh, Roxana, hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Well, I'm good. In general, the world was hard because I received a lot of cases by email and a lot of calls. And I need to prepare my closing for the next week, I guess. But in general, in general, everything is okay. Today I didn't I didn't go to the gym because I went to the bank to fight with some people there. And that's it. I can imagine you arguing with the people from the bank. I can just picture you. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is that uh, I right now I have a member, member, membresia, member, membership. Yeah, membership. Yeah, I have a membership in my TC and I need the reverse, but they didn't do it. So I need, I needed to visit the bank about it. And you know, um, I don't know if you if you are in the past spending time on that in a bank, you need to uh, call to somebody and you spend around 30 minutes, minutes or more. Yeah. And you know, it's complex, but everything is okay. Maybe tomorrow I have a, answer positive answer because they will change the product so i get i i will i will get a reverse but i need to change my tc product for other well let's hope so yeah so at the end of the day Maybe it was weird about that because I usually don't visit a bank. I always work on the banking online. Yeah, online, online, online. banking. Yeah, it's, I mean, in a way it's good work online. Uh, it's easier, faster. Yes. But there are certain situations where you really need a person in front of you. Yeah. And as, as you were saying, well, to be honest with you, in those situations, I rather go to an agency instead of making a phone call. Man, making mm -hmm. a phone call pisses me off. Because you gotta jump yeah, from place to, to place to place to place. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, messy. Yes, I know. And well, after that, well, I went with my mother and my son. So after the banking, we, bueno, ellos, they, they having dinner in the McDonald's and that's it. I'm kind, I'm come back to home. Okay, nice. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Okay. And welcome. Okay, guys, let me Thank see. You. Let me let me tell you about the, 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 the activities for tonight. Well, we got us um, a couple of questions, working in groups. Then we got a conversation. After the conversation, let me check. I got my lesson plan right here. Okay. 
after the conversation. Okay, we got a, oh no, we are still missing some vocabulary. That vocabulary from yesterday goes before the conversation from the manual. Then we are going to talk about past models. That explanation is quite simple. It's there in the manual, we're gonna work on it. And then we will have some extra exercises, but before those exercises, we got Ada presenting. And I don't know, Ramon, are you ready, Ramon? Yeah, yeah, at the end of the class. Yep. Okay. Right ready. before the end. Okay, perfect, cool. So that's, that's almost our agenda for tonight. So right now, uh, let's see. Okay. Usually, whenever I get you working in groups, uh, I usually give you give you questions, and you are telling me that sometimes those questions are pretty deep, right? Okay. Now we're going to go exactly to the complete opposite. Okay. Today, I'm going to give you some a couple of, how can we say it, uh, silly questions, okay? So we are going to enjoy talking about a little bit of no sense. Like the first one, it's gonna be simple. Uh, is this our situation? I need you to work using your imagination. Can you write a conversation between two items in your refrigerator? For example, what might the mayonnaise and the pickles be talking about before you open the door? Okay, guys, so now you are going to make a conversation, but today is not going to be formal nor deep. Today is going to be fun, okay? so. Let's have a little bit of fun with that. Let me create the breakout rooms so you can go there and participate. Let's see. Groups are created, guys. And let's see. Okay, please jump in. Five minutes to create that conversation. Okay, um, but what, what do you think about the question? Uh, can you write a conversation between two items in your re refrigerator? Uh, for example, what, what made the mayonnaise and pickles be talking about before you open the door? 
Mm, I don't have people because I don't like, but maybe I have a Maya. <laughs> yeah, but the question is, Maria Alejandra, <laughs> it was just an example. What about mayonnaise and I don't know, and a frozen pizza, for example? <laughs> yes, a ravioli with cheese and maybe it's Espinaca is a spinach. Uh -huh, spinach. Uh -huh. <laughs> vamos, vamos, José. Yes. How do you buy when you stay in a supermarket? What is your favorite product that you stay all the time in your in your <clears throat> refrigerator? Uh, Hello, I will send you to another group because I guess Steven is working right now. Hello. Hello. Hey, mister. Good evening. You're still working, right? I still, I still working. Sorry. I'm apologizing. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Be a listener. I'll send you to a group and I will let them know that you're just listening. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry, just uh, just a little thing. Steven is here, but he's still working, okay? So uh -huh. he's going to okay. be just listening. Okay. Okay, nice. Thanks. Okay, let's see, let's see. My two favorite students, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi teacher. Hi teacher. Hello ladies. So, who's the mayor? Uh, uh, that, that was an, an example or we have to... That's an example, that's an, that's example. an example. I mean, you, could, you can pick whatever you want. Okay. Uh, we, we choose a bottle of Coke and a bottle of water. And okay. we are going to bet who's going to be taken first. Okay, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you know, always there, people is telling me, oh, these questions are pretty deep. This is pretty serious. So today I try to get to the other completely to turn it all the way around. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. It's time we have a little bit of fun. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see. Let me go check the rest of the groups. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. okay. okay and then you say, let's bet. I, I, I assure you I'll be taken first. I've been or maybe the pickles they can say yeah the the meat for example the beef uh -huh, and say and, that the pickles mm -hmm. uh -huh. and the other say oh um I was talking about you and me mm -hmm. that I'm is dying I'm dying to hear your conversation oh come on <laughs> I'm dying for where do you get these ideas why every all the time people is telling me hey teacher these questions are pretty deep you really make us think about it they are very strong very serious so i turn it the other way around today no, come on i prefer the other type of questions <laughs> well, we are the pickles tonight no I, I don't like pickles you know <laughs> let's have fun right teacher <laughs> okay Let's uh, uh -huh, let's introduce the the uh, the other English. Yeah. Oh, the truth. 
I I'm gonna send you to a group so you can have fun there. Okay. So we can create a conversation between an apple and a guava. And I used to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I use it both to create, a, to prepare a, a, a appetizer, a midnight appetizer. And also, I added to that dish. The lotitos, but the, the snack, and it's very delicious to me. I have some day uh, that I don't, that I didn't do it. That dish, that appetizer. We can create a conversation between those items. I use. I use to, uh, I also use um, Worcester um, sauce, I think it's going to work, and house hot sauce. So this item perhaps will be wondering when will be the next time that they can be mixed to prepare that appetizer. What do you think about? Hello, guys, you ready? Juan Carlos, Irene. Fernando. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Irene. Hi. Did you create Hi, teacher? Yes. Okay. Because we're going to the main room in 60 seconds. Okay. Uh, Irene, at the end of the class, perhaps you can give me a couple of minutes. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, Juan Carlos, no problem. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Due to the factor time, we cannot have all the conversations, but I passed by a couple of groups and you were having fun. But I have some volunteers. I remember that Ileana and Heidi told me that they were going to volunteer to show us their conversation. So please, 
ladies. Let's see, okay. is Heidi here already? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, so um, I will be. I will be a coke, and Liana is going to be a bottle of water. So Ooh. I'll start. Okay. Okay. There you go. You start, Liliana. Ah. Okay. Hey, Coke. How are you? I am so cool. You know, I'm here since the morning, ready to be taken. Let's bet. I assure you, I've been taken first. You kidding? Why do you think so? If I am the coolest, the most tasty, and the most delicious beverage you'll find in this refrigerator. I am the healthiest beverage. Anyone, even Christian and Mancy, wants me. And that's it, teacher. Okay, <laughs> because that was so nice. cool. I like it. I really like it. Thank you, guys. It was nice. And I remember I had another couple who wanted to participate. Oh, yeah, right. Anna Claudia and Roxana. No, come on. <laughs> wait, wait. Ah, wait. Que no lo teníamos compartido. Espérenme, se lo voy a enviar. <laughs> no, I didn't write anything. Oh! Just... I don't know. Do you want to share on the screen or what? Yes. Oh my God. Pero necesitamos el rough beef. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, do you receive the message? Oh, yes, of course, I got it. Okay, well, um, we was talking about the hamburgers and the mayo and pickles and rough beef. Into the refrigerator was talking about the who is the best ingredient for the hamburgers. So let's try it. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, pickle. What is it, um, what is the most important ingredient for the hamburger? Pickle, yes or roast beef? Roast beef? Sure, I am. You are not lying. <laughs> Mayonnaise, mm, in the principal, I am the principal ingredient. The hamburger isn't the same without me. I am the secret. Mm, are you kidding? The hamburger is a hamburger with the roast beef. Not really. You can prepare hamburgers with chicken, tofu, and other ingredients. That's oh, the teacher. you see, yeah, she's opening the door right now. <laughs> okay, but ingredients. But she just picked up a job. Ingredients. <laughs> so you both love ingredients. Ingredients. Okay. 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 okay, guys. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Now is the moment for being serious. We're going to go to the manual to check out a conversation, okay? Thank you very much. I know all of you prepare a very good one, but I'm so sorry. My apologies. The time is not enough, you know, how it goes. But I was checking, and I hope you have had as much fun as I did listening to some of you guys. So let's see. Okay. We got the conversation and the conversation goes as follows. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company they could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. 
I repeat. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Okie dokie. Okay, guys, you go to the breakout rooms and practice. You will have four minutes. trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there's even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. Okay. Pinch. Okay. Um, Francisco, uh, now you are Nina and I am Jill. Okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO. Mistreating his employees and it's out everywhere on the internet. It, it must be an employee trying to sue the company. They who have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department will have a lot with this fish to come this far. I hope they find a wall out of the control to this pinch. Okay, thank you. Uh, now, I don't know if you know the meaning of pinch. It's a pinch situation. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it is. Pinch. Mm. In a pinch or a pinch is a puro. Mm. Okay. The translator give me pellizco. Yeah, a I pellizca. can pinch you. I mean, uh, what? Sometimes when you pro, when you get like uh, playful with your husband, you pinch him, right? Oh, okay. But but when you are in a pinch, listen, when you are in a pinch, it means that you are in a mm -hmm. And What is it, the, 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 I, the, the correct pronunciation of su, 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 su? Okay, it's kind of weird, right? Uh, su, 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 yeah, su, trying to su, zoo. no, su, 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 yeah, like that. Charger is the thing is that you emphasize too much the S, it's going to sound like Z, mm -hmm. and that's the zoo. zoo. Yeah, in this case, it's su, 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 su. Yeah, like, like, su casa, su, su. su. Make it rounder. It has su. strong pronunciation su. with the U. Yeah, su. and it's rounder, su. Look at my su. mouth, su. Su. Like that, simple, right? Okay. See, everybody's coming back. Okay, everybody's back. Now, guys, uh, I'm sorry I didn't explain something uh, in the in the conversation, I guess all of you know this this word, right? So, right? Amanda, yes. Yeah. Su. Yes. Is mm -hmm. su su like in su casa, su carro, su, but rounder, su. Okay. It's the verb, right? What? It, that is the verb. Yeah. Su? Yeah, it's a verb, it's a noun. Ah, okay. A word. Yeah, but some people use it as a noun, but actually when you sue somebody, that person got a suit. Ah, okay, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, and the, the other thing is, is suit, right? Yeah, so the other thing is pinch, pinch, a puro, okay? Or a bad situation, that's a pinch. Remember that also pinch is when you pinch someone, right? But when you mm -hmm. are in a pinch, it means that you are in a puro. Got it? In a hurry or something like that. No, 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 no. A puro de like problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
because if you are in a puro, in a hurry, that's rush. I'm in, a, I'm on a rush. Ah, oh, okay. Teacher. Yep. In a pinch, to me, it was like a physical damage. I don't know if it, it can mm -hmm. be used in the both ways. In a pinch. Mm -hmm. No, because if you are in a pinch, it means that you are in a big problem, in a problem. Okay? Oh, got it, got it. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, who's gonna start? Marcos and Suleyma. Marcos, you start. <clears throat> Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about the CEO mistreating his employees and it is out of everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented the issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Or PR department wouldn't have allowed, allowed this situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Okay. Thank you. Ada and Roxana. Roxana, you'll start. Okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO, Miss. Mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could help prevent the issues, but the public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for press conference. Yes, there is even a video and the picture out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this page. Mm -hmm. Okay, cold, 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 and other even. Event. Event. Thank okay. you, ladies. Thank you. Anna Claudia and Heidi. Heidi, you start. Okay, teacher. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about your CEO mastering his employees, and it is out of everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Okay, just a second, ladies. Uh, hey, allowed, allowed. Allowed. Yeah, like that, perfect, thank you. Let's see, Jose Wilfredo and Maria Alejandra. Jose Wilfredo, you start. Let me open 
did you hear about for competition? There is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees. And it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be his employee try to sue the company that could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. The PR department couldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Perfect, Jose Wilfredo, in the first line, did you hear? You hear, yeah. Hear, okay, perfect, thank you. And Ileana and Juan Carlos, you ready? Yes, yes I'm ready. Okay, Ileana, you start. Okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have pre prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not, as, is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures uh, out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out this pinch. Perfect, guys. Wow, but quite fast. Thank you. What's just mean and Irene? Okay. Okay. Uh, what does this mean? Just start. Okay. okay. So, do you hear about the competition? There is a rumor about the CEO mistreating his employees and is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented the issue, but the public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. Uh, when the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Ramon. And Hello. Francisco. Ramon, you start. Okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO. Mr. His employee in his out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented the issue, but the public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, they're receiving a video and picture out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allow, allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. pinch. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 um. Fernando, you ready? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's see who's gonna help you. And Juan Carlos, can you help Fernando, please? Yes, of course. Okay, uh, Fernando, start. you start. No, okay. Fernando starts. Okay. Uh, did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about the CEO mistreating his employees 
and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but the public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Okay, guys, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Ada, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me just open your presentation. Hey guys, did I get the attendance? Please help me out, remind me. Not yet. It's not not. Oopsie, Daisy. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sergasto Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Aire Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okie dokie. Thank you guys. Just do a little something here. Okay. Okay, Ada, you want me to share the screen for you? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, no problem. Miss ready. Hi, okay. Good evening, uh, teacher and everybody. My presentation is the importance of the rest in our life. And the importance of rest is the parallel to the importance of work, but the necessary to achieve the goal in the lives to in the light that a love is the to live and be happy. Our work involves physical and psychological work. This work is accompanied by negative sensations which make up the personal experience of what we call a fatigue. The physical fatigue consists on the unpleasant sensation for the body, which does is a original is a muscular fatigue. This uh, unpleasant impression varies in location according to the muscle must be used at work. It can uh, uh, cause acute uh, the chronic pain. People who do not get enough rest they can gradually accumulate the fatigue in an extensive and the continuous way. And the physical fatigue, at least acute fatigue, is usually easy to detect and therefore easy to remedy with the rest. The chronic fatigue, because it's the less intense and less related to uh, the specific activity, is usually more difficult to solve and 
Same size is an out the which activity is a causing the fatigue and which will have to be abandoned or reduced the many times. Chronic fatigue seems related to personality, personality thrown to imbalance between the tiredness and the rest. And the mental fatigue is a consequently of the mental irritation or their stress that accompanies work and also the life, the life in general. Since living is a job, since everything is ordinary, tasks require the effort. For season, ordinary life requires more the effort because it is more difficult. Satisfy the psychologic, psychological needs. Security, law, trust, satisfaction, gratification, and things. In addition, some the people, because they are more ambitious or demanding with the thin service and with other, and the more is a need of the successor or affection on the security, and usually they live and live with more tension or effort. And then to accumulate fatigue, the mental fatigue caused by physical, intellectually, or living work can also be a coup. And the chronic and manifest, manifest itself is a decrease in the ability or the psychical faculty to function and fluid the uh, of doubt, strong, or with the imagination, perception, attention, concentration, concentration, and the memory. Uh, in the effectively during the fatigue, negative effects and the Probably, consequently, the frustration, uh, anxiety, stress, worry, liability, emotional, and perceptibility. And the rest is necessary is to prevent the negative physical and the psychological consequence of the fatigue, which can prevent you from working or less working well. And it's also necessary to live with the better quality of the life since the rest, the eliminates negative feelings and affects and resolve the physical and mental strains to the world well. And, and some examples the of activity direct. One, a counterpart the beautiful, good, and, and authentic thing and the people as I the produce relaxation and enjoyment. For example, or things that live this quality are good music, literature, natural walls, and the moves, and the pets. And two, feeling love, um, doing nice things with the people who love, as, who love us and what we love because with them be not they having to act or Intensing or working hard with their appreciation, we can relax and ourselves. The love they give me a produce positive effect that neutralizes the negative or fatigue. And three, must have been say about the affectation is uplifted. It's a good humor to combat the stress. And since the word is the starting with the tension and stress. That this is timely activity that produces louder and good humor are good to rest. And the finish, and it's assuring can be said that the human behind him by natural certain psychological and psychological and psychological needs, among which the rest is a content within the we recover the energy that is consumed with the effort achieve the goal of being happy and hamper your love wants to be. The human nature is that they provides a timid or waking fullness to activity and a time to early for rest. In our society should they compete and they focus it and achieve success in outside world, there is a often in imbalance between an effort the rest and between tiredness and rest and the alteration typical of the chronic stress that it is inevitable accompanying is a deontologic obligation of the healthy professional to prevent the health 
This one the audience is chronic fatigue. Therefore, they must remind the people who depend on them or they need to arrest and the hygienic measures. Thanks, teacher. Thank you for attention. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. See, Ada, perhaps tomorrow uh, after the class, you can have a few minutes because I would like to go over some, some vocabulary, okay? Okay, teacher. Tomorrow after class, don't forget it because tonight I have already said somebody, but tomorrow we will talk. Just okay. little details, okay? Thank okay. you. Very interesting. Resting. I'll try to remember what's that like. Okay, guys, let's go back to the manual. And I got a little something that I need to remind you because I could hear when we were in the in the conversation some things that need to be uh, uh, fixed. Okay, guys, there's a little something here that I need to remind you because I was listening to some of you and it's about pronunciation. Remember, whenever we have L after D, guys, remember, please, that L doesn't sound. So the sound of this is could, could, should, would, okay? Remember, could should, would, it is not cool, it is not should, it is not would, could, should, would. The letter L in this case doesn't have a sound, okay? So we forget about the sound of that letter. Now, how to use past models? Okay, use the past perfect model verbs to talk about situations that didn't happen in the past. They are hypothetical situations. We use could have plus past participle to express that something that was possible in the past or to express that someone had the ability to do something in the past, but they decided not to do it. The manager could have prepared a contingency plan but he decided to focus on something else. The teacher could have explained the topic differently, but he didn't. You see? Something that the person had the ability to do, but they didn't. We use should have plus the past participle to make suggestions in the past or to say something would have been a good idea but it wasn't done. The employees should have kept calm. That's a good idea, but people didn't follow it, okay? I should have studied for the exam, but I didn't. Yeah, but great. We use will have plus past participle to show past willingness. It is similar to the third conditional, but an if clause is not required. Our public relations department would have done a better job, but they didn't receive any report on the issue. You see? Now, guys, any question about this topic? I guess it's quite simple, right? Okay, remember that if you need to check it out, remember we're in the manual in page number 28. Okay, in the Insafort manual, page 28. Okay. Let's check the exercise, yes? Was there somebody? No? Okay. We need to complete the sentences with past models the verbs and hints in parentheses. 
the crisis management team could have created a plan to reduce the impact of crisis on the company finances, but they were too busy with a peer scandal. Past possibility. Ah, okay. So we will be checking here, okay? Past possibility. Past suggestion. Okay? Or past willingness. That's what you're going to be looking at in order to decide if you're going to use cool, should, or would. Okay? So that's the exercise that we are going to be performing. I'm going to send you into the breakout rooms so you can discuss and work. Okay, guys, jump in. You got seven minutes.
Se puede tener una posibilidad de pasar. Una paz yeah. posible, o, o similar. <laughs> okay. The, the crisis could have, could have been. The crisis could have been. Could have been, like, right. Being is past participle of this. Avoid. Avoid me with good planning. That's true. Okay. Okay, we're well done. You done? Yes, it is. Okay, what you got in number two? The number two. Uh, we had the manager. The president will have requests mm -hmm. uh, for the number two. Number two. The manager. Uh -huh, should have been. Should. Sure. Number three. Number two. Number three. Good. Okay. Number four. Number four. Uh, should. Five. Five. Good. Good. Perfect. Finish, ladies. Yes, sir. Oh yes. my gosh! Just ladies. Wow. Yes, and we are the <laughs> ladies <Lovely>. night. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what you got in number two? Should, would, or could? Should, should have. Number three? Should have. Would have requested. Four. Should, should have, have taken. Five. Could have used. Excellent. Number six. Could have been. Could have been. Perfect. Easy, right? Yeah. Ooh, let's go back to the main room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, let's see, let's see. Where is it? Oops. Okay, number two, the manager The manager, uh, let's see, Fernando, what you got? Sorry, uh, the manager. Yep. The manager should have been honest with the employees about the product recall. Should have been, perfect. Ileana, number three, what you got? Where the president? I mean, I write this. The president will have requested. Mm -hmm. 
perfect. In this case, in this one, in this one, you could have also used could or would. Okay. Even if it's past willingness, you could have used any of these two. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. Um, Juan Carlos, what you got for number three? Um, let me see. The person. For number four, I'm sorry. Number four. Mm -hmm. The employees. Uh, the employees could have take the deal, but they prefer to go on strike. Okay, look at it this way. Or should, should. Mm -hmm. Look, should have taken. Taken. Thank you. Now, number five, number five goes to, let's see. Sulma. Zulma. Who is Zulma? I'm sorry. <laughs> Zuleima? What is Zuleima? I'm sorry. Oh my God. You're a sleepy picture. Yeah. Please, Zuleima. Uh, okay. When the earthquake hit, the suppliers could have used different routes of transportation for the deliveries. So, could have used. Perfect, Suleyma. Number six uh, goes to, okay, now you just got me. I need to check the names, I'm sorry. I'm so bad at remembering names. Now let's see. Oh, I know this name. Maria Alejandra, you got number six. <laughs> That's a name I never forget. Mm, the crisis who have been avoided uh, with good planning. The crisis who have been avoided with good planning. Okay. And that's the way it goes. Let's see. The manager should have been honest with the employees about the product recalls. The president would or could have requested for a press conference, but there was no time for the paperwork. The employees should have taken the deal, but they preferred to go on strike. When the earthquake hit, the suppliers could have used different routes of transportation for the deliveries. The crisis could have been avoided with good planning. Okay, guys, now let's see, let's see. Let me just share with you the answers so you can have it there and keep it. And Ramon is almost ready, I guess, right? Okay. Okay, Ramon, give me just a second. The PPT is opening. And here we go. Okay, ready, good evening. Hello? It's ready. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, right now, I'm talking to about of origin and evolution of social media. Um, 
The 90s were characterized by the appearance of the web and technologies. Uh, teacher, uh, the next page, please. Okay. <laughs> Uh, of the web and technology that facilitate the access of the large number of people to the internet. The social networks have their origin in the second half of the 90s and have been deployed, de developing time to until today. Since. Okay, since the, then until today. Classmates uh, are is considered the first social network. It was created in 1995 by American Randy Converse. This social network saw to virtually connect former school and university classmates. As the project was successful, new networks began to appear whose purpose was to bring friends and family together. The next page, please. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, and this, there are logos about the fears on social media. And then appear, let me see, in 1997, six degree was created a network that allowed con contacting other members of the network, creating profile, putting together a list of friends. Six degrees was based, based, based. On, on the six degrees of the separation theory, which states that everyone is six people away from everyone else on the planet. This social network was active until uh, Syria 20, 2001. No, 2001. 2001. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then appears other social media uh, like uh, Friendsters emerged in the 2003. And then LinkedIn appeared. Let me see. In 2023, and sorry, then... 2000 LinkedIn. Let me see. <laughs> uh, LinkedIn appeared in 2003. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, it was uh, in the future. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, let me see. This was in response to the popularity of the friends. There, MySpace emerged in 2003. Created by a marketing agency, this network was especially dedicated to music and technology. By 2009, MySpace was the social network with the highest user traffic. MySpace lost their arm. Uh, uh, yeah, and this page. MySpace, uh, let me see. Lost the arm wrestling with the arrival of Rise of Facebook, which emerged in 20, 2004, sorry, and was very popular due to its, platf to its platform. The growing development of the internet and the appearance of the mobile devices with the internet connection. In fact, the in the first decade, decade, decade I don't know, decade, decade. 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 Decade of the, of the 20th centuries, some of the social networks with largest number of users emerged. In 2005, the YouTube video platform emerged, which was acquired by Google in 2006. In 2006, appeared uh, Twitter, uh, like a micro-blogging micro social network. In 2010, Instagram was created which allows you to share videos and photos. And, uh, and then Pinterest, uh, which allows user to create a personal boards with image, writing, and videos. In 2011, Snapchat was created, the social network that popularized ephemeral message 
also widely, widely popular and one of the faster growing apps. Snapchat fell behind Facebook when Facebook acquired Instagram in 2012. Acquire. Acquire Instagram in 2012. And then WhatsApp in 2014. And then of the last event on social network is TikTok, a platform of Chinese origin that allows you to create and share videos. In 2018, it emerged, it emerged with musical and is one of the network with the largest follow flow of young user. A paper in 39 language. Languages. And languages. And that's it. Okay. Fire interesting. Thank you very much. And perhaps um, on Friday we can talk a little bit after the class. Come okay. Thank you guys. Okay, now let's see, we go back to, well, I go back to being a little bit silly. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Ana Claudia. Uh -huh. I need you to, well, you, choose who you are going to ask this question. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, let's see. Jose Wilfredo, why do pajamas have pockets? <laughs> to be honest. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, um, well, maybe if you want to save your money when you While are sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, real, right? I don't know. I don't know why. Oh maybe the person that invented the pajamas maybe thought that we going to go out. <laughs> on pages yeah but i don't know <laughs> but i saw pockets most in the men pajamas not women yeah uh, usually uh, men pajamas got pockets uh -huh. but even even the, the 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 upper part of the main pajamas got a pocket a breast <laughs> pocket uh, yeah yeah as marco says perhaps to save your dreams Oh, <laughs> nice phrase, Marcos. Like it. Okay, guys. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This is for a lady. Hmm. Iliana, got one for you. Okay, teacher, tell me. You gotta listen carefully. Tell me, Iliana, could a husband be married to the sister of his widow? Could a husband be married? Of a sister of her of her widow. Of his widow. Of his could a husband be married? Just tell me yes or no. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Could you repeat, okay. Could you repeat the, 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 the question? I will I will repeat it, but I will include somebody else. Let's see. Heidi, you are into this conversation right now with Ilian and me. Could a husband be married to the sister of his widow? Ladies. No. Heidi, what do you think? The sister? No. <laughs> Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? The Why sister not, ladies? Because the Ileana, sister. When... Uh huh. Ah, uh, because he's already dead. Okay, you got it, you got it, you got it. You were right, Iliana, he cannot. He's dead already. 
Look at the sentence. You see the sentence? Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. Roxana. Hi. Why do you make your bed in the morning? Who, oh, sorry? Do you do you do your bed in the morning? Mm, not really. <laughs> okay, why not? The, uh, I don't you I don't wear um cobija. How do you say cobija? Okay, I don't use a blanket. I don't use a blanket, just um my pigeons. Yeah. Oh, and your pillow. Yes. Okay, and always perfect. at morning when I change my, my when I took my um I think when my when I was when, when, when I, I shower my shower when I shower I change my clothes and all things are in the in the okay? basket yeah in basket. The basket okay perfect thank you Fernando yes teacher okay Fernando remember tonight is the day of the silly questions okay so tell me why do you look at yourself in the mirror? A champion. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Where why? You... Why do you look ah, at yourself? Why? Oh, sorry, what? I'm, I'm confused. Why do you look yeah. at yourself? At your... in the... uh, for, I don't know, for admire myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't okay. Know. It's, it's, a, it's a habit. Okay, okay. It's a habit. It's a habit when in the morning when you dress up. I don't know. Yeah, it's different for us guys than for girls. So that's why, thank you, Fernando. I'm going to ask a lady, where's, uh, 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 um, where's Maria Alejandra? I could have sworn Maria Alejandra was here. Oh, there's Maria Alejandra. Okay, Juan Carlos, no problem. All right, be here. <laughs> Why do you look at yourself in the mirror, Maria Alejandra? Give me a reason. <laughs> because I need to. I need to, to? see my face and I, and I, I don't know, to brush my uh, hair. Okay. <laughs> It's valid, it's valid. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, guys. Now I go with guys. Jose Wilfredo. Tell me the dream. Okay. If you were given the chance, Jose Wilfredo, to be an animal, which animal would you be? You. Okay, tell me why. Uh, because I don't know if you heard uh, the history for uh, an eagle that bore twice. In oh, yeah. Life. Yeah, they do. Okay. They, yeah. Because of, also... of their paw. No, it's not a paw. How do you say that? Pick. Pick. Yeah, but also their, 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 uh, 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 They're uh, they're close. They're close. Yeah, they are reborn. That's what you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, acceptable, acceptable. And the claw is the the las garras and the the beak. Mm -hmm. The beak is the 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 beak. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's see. Irene, what about you? If you were given the chance to be an animal, which animal would you be? 
I would like to be a doll because these kind of uh, animals are so intelligent. They are alike to a person. They have feelings. They are intelligent. And they are so, how can I say, leales? Uh, loyal. Loyal, loyal, yeah. Okay, loyal. thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Marcos. Hello, teacher. Hello, Marcos. What do you do when you are in front of the mirror? Tell me. Oh, the mirror? Yeah, what do you do when you're in front of the mirror? Uh, okay, um, just um, watching if I am good looking at this time, <laughs> at that time. Okay. <laughs> And yeah, that, that's all. Okay, okay, well, interesting. Let's see. Um, okay, guys. Uh, uh, in my case, the only thing I I look at myself in the mirror is is to check if I don't have a frame frame. You know what's that, guys? Room, room. No teacher. No. You see what I did? Mm, yes. Mm. Okay. No. Legañas. Oh. The, the, <laughs> no, the little white things that we get early in the morning, right here in the corner. That's Leganes. Okay, guys, it was a very nice class. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And believe me, I enjoyed it a lot with these weird questions. Uh, let me get the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Danny Josue García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Ibed Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present, Mr. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Suleima, Suleima, I try not to forget it. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Enjoy it. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Let's see. Good night, Ramon. Take care. Bye bye. Irene, Irene, Irene. Okay. Hello.
Hello, Irene. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm excellent today. Perfect, perfect. Let me do a little something here. Let's see. There is a little something that I would like to share with you that I am sure it's going to, to be helpful. Okay? Okay. Uh, you're working on your computer or your cell phone? On my cell phone now. Okay. Then I'm going to share with you through the through WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. So you can have it there. Uh, okay. You got it? Yes, I got it. Okay, what are you going to do there? Those are exercises. What you can, what you're going to do there is you got listening quizzes, okay? You're going to listen to uh, people speaking and there's the, and there's an audio, okay? Mm -hmm. There's okay. a couple of questions. There's the space for you to answer, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to, you need in one, you need to do the, the, to write the questions according to the answers, okay? Okay, so interesting. And, and there's more of them. I mean, there's plenty of exercises there for you to do, okay? Yeah. So, do them. And, uh, I will advise you to do just once, one a day, no more than one, okay? Take it easy, take it slow, do your things at your own rhythm. Don't, I don't want you to be working on it more than 10 minutes, okay? No more than 10 minutes. 10 minutes is enough because you work, uh, you study, you have your obligations at home. I mean, you got a lot of stuff and I don't want you to, to, to be... To pressure but this is an extra exercise that is going to help you why because you're going to be listening you're going to be reading you're going to be writing and you're going to be acquiring vocabulary that is going to improve your speaking so with those exercises i know you will have fun and let's see i would like you to tell me around next week perhaps one day just let me know if if you think they are okay, if you think they are too difficult, or if you need any help with them, or if you would like some different exercises, I can share with you more. I got plenty, okay? Okay. I don't know if there's anything, uh, in a specific area where would, you would like me to help me. I have, uh, um, I need to improve my writing and I need improve my my tenses about okay. present perfect past perfect but i'm trying to improve it nowadays i'm looking for the videos on in okay. on youtube about the, the tenses because i sometimes when i need to talk and practice my vocabulary in, in these senses is difficult for me. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, let me also. Okay, if you check what I just sent you, you will find out that there's how to make the verb tense and how to use. And there's a difference. Mm -hmm. How to make mm -hmm. is the structure. How to use mm -hmm. is exactly that. In which situations you are going to use each tense. Okay, okay. I guess Thank that's you. going to help you a lot. Thank you so much. No problem, no problem. That's what I'm here to help you. Okay. So I see you tomorrow. Try to be on time. Have a good night. Good night. Take care. Bye. See you. Bye.
Well, I'm so.